Do 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 Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here. As you already saw the little intro that I just did, you know, trying to hum to the Linus and Lucy theme. And of course, I even put in the, the new Snoopy and Woodstock um, on Snoopy's Doghouse mug that I have. I now have all four of the Peanuts theatrical releases on DVD. And they're all in widescreen, digitally remastered, the way you have seen it in movie theaters. Because already with the celebration of the Peanuts movie, which is coming out in a few weeks. So excited for that. But now I'm going to be reviewing the new DVD release of Bombayage Charlie Brown and Don't Come Back. Yep. Just like the last release, which is Race for Your Life, Charlie Brown. Yep, which I have right here, of course. <laughs> As you know it. This one now has, surprisingly enough, a new featurette. Celebrating its 35th anniversary. Digitally remastered. As you know it. And yes, the slipcover has a picture of Snoopy who was at a sports bar you know drinking root beer you know already dressed up like a uh, <laughs> a war soldier and he's just sitting on the table listening to music on the jukebox <laughs> and on the back yep it's um, it's Snoopy Woodstock along with Charlie Brown, Linus, Pepper and Patty and Marcy you know driving around France in a blue rental car. Yep. Which Snoopy, of course, is driving <laughs> all the way around France and has all the images from the entire movie. And of course, the information and it also tells you that there's a new featurette included, which is called Travels with Charlie. It's a very nice featurette. I mean, it has all the the good stuff and information on the two, the last two films that they had, not to mention, um, they also talk about some of the other stuff that that Charles M. Schultz, aka Sparky, has done, you know, along with Bill Melendez and all the rest. It, it has new interviews with Charles M. Schultz's wife, who's also the president of Charles M. Schultz's museum. It has all the other. Um, it also has one of the relatives, who's now. Um, part of the, the production companies and everything, even the animation that they're doing. So they talk about all the info about what Charles M. Schultz was doing when he was still doing Peanuts with all the specials and movies, everything. Yeah, and the comics too. Very nice. Of course, here's the, um, here's where I take out the slip cover. It's the same as usual. All in a <laughs> red DVD case with the disc inside that's all in gray, just like the last one. So, <laughs> good grief. <laughs> but I have to say, it is kind of a shame that that you only get a new featurette on this release, but you can't get it on Race for Your Life, Charlie Brown. Yeah, leave it at only with the trailer and its bare bones. And also, this movie does include the trailer as well. Yep. Something I never thought I would see before because this is exactly why we do need trailers 
for a movie like Peanuts. But, yeah. And that's what we need, because sad to say, the first two DVDs that I have with A Boy Named Charlie Brown and Snoopy Come Home, which of course <laughs> I have right here on the palm of my hands, they're, they're both bare bones. And they don't have any extras, and it, and it doesn't even have a trailer. Not at all. And I think they deserve them. But, I gotta say, it, it's very nice that we finally get a, all four of these movies on DVD after all the, this time. You know, because the first two films were released back in 2006. Well, we had to wait a very long time for the last two films to be released in 2015. So that's like almost 10 years prior to that. Hard to believe. But they knew that Paramount was taking some time to release them as a result to, you know, the new movie that's coming out. And that's exactly why Paramount should have released these in the first place. We waited too long for them. I mean, when they were on VHS, it didn't took that long to release them at all. Because these films were on VHS and Laserdisc, even during its earlier days. And not only that, they re-released them in the 90s. And that was the last ones that we ever had, you know, which was 20 years ago. That's kind of a disappointment for Paramount to take this long to release these. I mean, I know, considering that, you know, Warner Brothers now had the rights to all the Peanuts specials already being released on DVD and Blu-ray. So this is exactly what Paramount should have done in the first place. So, yeah. Kind of a lazy job for them. But thank God, after all these years, they finally had the decency to release all four of these movies on DVD, especially when they did re-release the first two films with the same slipcover as this and this. Okay. Anyway, now um, I'll give you this though, the transfer looks absolutely amazing. I think it looks a lot better than all the previous ones that we had. The only problem was though was that it was slightly cropped between the top and bottom. So there are some informations that might be lost. You know, like for example, uh, when I saw a screenshot of um, where Charlie Brown, Linus, as well as uh, Pepper and Patty and, and Marcy uh, were in the airplane, you know, they were just talking about that Charlie Brown had a letter that was sent by a girl from France all written in French language. Yeah, the one, the scene where Marcy was translating it to Charlie Brown. I noticed that the, that angle alone was actually cropped because there were more information where you get to see Marcy and Pepper and Patty's feet while the top actually had more information on the side, you know, where, you know, where the window is. Yeah, that's another example on why they should have never had cropped them. I mean, despite the fact that there, there are some more information on both the left and right, so that's a good thing that they did improve that since the VHS tapes and, and Laserdisc didn't have much of that, just, just black bars on both sides. So. But the colors is definitely what the film should have looked like in the first place. It actually looks almost as digitally mastered as, um, yeah, more vivid. It definitely matches the colors that the way they're supposed to have when um, the previous, uh, you know, DVDs of all the Paramount releases were. But this time it looks more like the ones that they released uh, from Warner Brothers. So it almost matched the, the colors very well. So that's exactly how all the Charlie Brown specials should look, and the movies themselves. So they did a good job. I think for Paramount to finally get the job right, but I do wish they had fixed the, the top and bottom angles, so that way the film would have been matted a whole lot better. 
So the only way you can see all these open matted format for the last two films is definitely, um, you know, check out the VHS and Laserdisc versions of the films for yourself. Yeah. Although I gotta say, they, they also did improve a little better too. Um, because I know the the previous VHS tape that I have, which is the 1994 or 5 release, yeah, the transfer looks a lot better. While it's in an open matted format, the colors actually look a lot mutual and looks a lot better than the previous one that got released on Laserdisc and VHS, yeah, the original release in 1980 or 81 perhaps. So they really did fix something because I noticed that when I saw both of them together, there's a slight difference in, in quality. The the original release that's on VHS and Laserdisc, um, the colors were pretty dark, kind of drab. There are other times when you can see the characters looking almost overly bright and white. It seems pretty dull at times. It just didn't look right. But when they had it on VHS in 1995, yeah, when they remastered it to a much better quality, now they did the same thing to Race for Your Life, Charlie Brown, as well. It looks so much better. They, they definitely fixed everything that they could. The, the colors look as amazing as, as it ever has been. And that's what they did with their DVD releases, despite the fact that it was slightly cropped. And actually, uh, Race for Your Life, Charlie Brown also had the same problem, too. Although, I didn't seem to notice it that much. But I guess if I had to check on both versions, then it definitely shows uh, what they just did here. But otherwise, I'm cool with it. I mean, even if it was cropped, it doesn't matter. I think the film looks as amazing as it's supposed to be. I'm just happy it finally came out on DVD after all this time. I mean... Especially already since we're in the, the digital age. Yeah, we already have Blu-rays now. And I just hope that someday, you know, now that these movies finally came out, I hope they finally get a Blu-ray release the way it was meant to be. And maybe this time Paramount will finally get their job right by actually putting some new extras or something for its release. I mean, who knows? Maybe they might do that too. And hopefully they get a much better transfer for the film, maybe an, an high definition transfer, because it does look spectacular, and I think it deserves what it should be, to all Peanuts fans out there, including myself, because <laughs> I'm a huge Peanuts fan, but anyway, I'm just happy, I'm just so excited for the new Peanuts movie, and definitely buy these films for yourself, especially if you're a huge Peanuts fan. Definitely get Bon Viage, Charlie Brown, and Don't Come Back, as well as all all of this Peanuts movies right here. As you know it, <laughs> all in one huge collection, right here in my palm of my hand. Get it at your local Target, Walmart's. Amazon.com, eBay, and all the rest of the stores out there to pick up a copy. Trust me, because you'll never regret it. So anyway, I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.